Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal at Review Nootropics. During this video, we're gonna talk about some of the different forms of lion's mane. Uh, lion's mane is one of my favorite nootropics. It can do everything from memory formation, basically creating new brain cells and helping with respect to anxiety and mood. Some people even report that they can get off of their antidepressant and substitute it with lion's mane. No, I don't recommend you do that, but that is how effective it can be. So we'll go through some various lion's mane products and stay tuned to the end of the video where I will share with you my personal favorite form of lion's mane. Lion's Mane is one where the brand and the type really does matter. Um, it's been proven that there's a lot of bad vendors of Lion's Mane. Some forms of Lion's Mane were actually reported to have very high levels of metal. I'll share with you some of the most popular forms on the market right now. I've tried them and I will tell you about my experience with them. The price per serving for the Nootropics Depot product is only 33 cents. The real mushrooms variation is 50 cents and the fresh cap variation is 50 cents as well. So this is a very affordable nootropic compared to some of the other ones that are discussed on this channel. Uh, the first being Lion's Mane 8 to 1. This is the dual extract. Second being um, Lion's Mane Cognition by Real Mushrooms. This is probably the most popular form of Lion's Mane you'll find out there on Amazon. And then we've got um, Fresh Cap. Fresh Cap is specifically known for their mushrooms, not only Lion's Mane, but Chaga, Reishi, Turkey Tail. I was especially curious about this product because of the really high percentage of beta-glucan content. We've got the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Elixir Mix. This is a coffee, it's called Think, and it tastes great, and does actually contain lion's mane as their number one ingredient. And then we've got um, coffee that's made by Fresh Cap, one's called Mushroom Coffee, that has not only lion's mane, but some other great ingredients, and this one by Fresh Cap called Focus. So when it comes to you choosing the best form of lion's mane, two things you especially wanna pay attention to. First, is it a one-to-one, -one, or is it a eight-to-one, or a different type of extract? And the other thing is the beta-glucan content. Beta-glucan, what you need to know about it is that it's a healthy bacteria that's found in lion's mane, which has magical, therapeutic and healing properties. That's why people feel healthier and they feel more relaxed while using Lion's Mane. There's benefits with immune support, it has anti-cancerous effects and cardiovascular benefits. So are you better off taking the one-to-one -one or the eight-to-one? Well, that depends on what you're using Lion's Mane for. Ask yourself, are you taking it for the health benefits or for productivity? If you're looking for a boost in your general health, maybe you're looking to improve your immune system, maybe you're looking for better cardio or even help with anti-aging, then you would consider taking the Lion's Mane one-to-one -one extract. Whereas if you're looking for something that's really going to have the cognitive benefits, um, help you get better grades, in my case, uh, sell more homes and make more money, then you'd be looking at taking the Lion's Mane eight-to-one extract as it's gonna really boost your like mood, your concentration and your memory. And you'll notice it working. I've also found the eight-to-one to be like slightly stimulating, whereas the one-to-one -one is a little bit more relaxing. On the Nootropics Depot website, they actually say that to make a single kilogram of the eight-to-one extract, they have to use eight kilograms of raw lion's mane mushroom. More is not always better. They found that after you go anything more than eight to one, like a 20 to one, is actually gonna be detrimental and perhaps it's just marketing hype. With a lot of the lion's mane products, on the market. Unfortunately, they don't disclose whether they are a one-to-one -one or an eight-to-one ratio. So if that is the case, then I would presume that they're a one-to-one, -one, but a very easy way to tell is based on the beta-glucan content. As usually, the one-to-one -one extracts have a higher beta-glucan content. As we can see here with the eight-to-one extract, it is um, a 15% beta-glucan minimum content, whereas the real mushrooms is 25% and I did browse on their website. It looks like it is a one to one ratio. Let's go ahead and I'll review them one by one. First being the Lion's Mane eight to one mushroom extract. Uh, this is still my favorite. I've made so many videos on them. I definitely recommend you watch this video here. I tried Lion's Mane and it changed my life where I talked about the eight to one and what it's done for me and how to take it. From taking this specific form, I immediately noticed like a decreased level of anxiety. I'm actually still able to work. Whereas other forms of Lion's Mane, they can be somewhat sedating. Uh, they're very good for sleep, um, but that does come with some downsides in the sense that they can also like decrease testosterone levels and lower my libido. I've not noticed that happen with the eight to one. Um, I still feel somewhat stimulated. It seems to give me like a little bit of alertness and I really feel more courageous to go out and do my job. I almost feel like I can um, feel like a direct correlation between the amount of lion's mane eight to one I take 
and my general stress levels. That is how strong this is. When you stop taking the eight to one mushroom extract, you can definitely notice, okay, it was actually doing something. A lot of people report having very vivid dreams while taking lion's mane. Um, it hasn't been my experience with this specific form. Uh, no improvement in sleep and dream quality whatsoever. Moving on to the next one, this is real mushrooms. And that's pretty much the opposite in the sense that with this form, um, you definitely do get those vivid dreams. Like these are capsules in which you take two per day yielding 1000 milligrams in a serving and i found that whether you take in the morning or at night you still do get the benefit and you can feel something working but with this form it does take a little bit more time versus the eight to one mushroom extract for me anyway here's the very next product we have it's the fresh cap lion's mane and similar to real mushrooms uh, serving size is two capsules, which yields one gram. Um, I will just note that the capsules, for whatever reason, are a lot smaller with this, and they do pride themselves on having no added grain or fillers. Not that I'm saying that real mushrooms has fillers, but I mean, real mushrooms has some pretty darn big capsules. This is what one of the real mushrooms uh, capsules looks like, whereas this is the fresh cap. As you can see, it's significantly smaller. One of the things that initially got me interested in the fresh cap lion's mane nootropic was after discovering uh, this product here called Thrive 6. This has six different mushroom ingredients from maitake to chaga, turkey tail, reishi, cordyceps, and lion's mane extract. So I had seen some pretty good reviews about this product. I liked it and then I went ahead and I got some of the lion's mane. And if you want to learn more about the different mushroom nootropics, I've discussed them in depth in this video. I will link here. And this is a form that's as well worth considering. It's by Finest Formula premium lion's mane mushroom. What makes this different is they really went in depth in their ingredient profile. They uh, mentioned not only the beta glucon content, but as well the polyphenols, as well as some other important terms like terpenes, which is a good active ingredient found in lion's mane and reishi mushroom. Since this is a smaller bottle, only 90 capsules, it um, definitely is worth considering for those of you who are on a budget and it is still at the same time very effective. Moving on to the coffee-based lion's mane nootropics, um, I've got the Four Sigmatic and I've got the Fresh Mushrooms. I've already made a video on Four Sigmatics. I don't like it. I think it's really overrated. I'm surprised it's gotten so much hype. Yes, it has lion's mane. Um, it also tastes great, but we don't know too much about the lion's mane content. Uh, they do have a decent serving, but when you consider that you're likely only taking one per day, um, you probably won't notice it working long term. But after being exposed to really potent um, products of lion's mane, I would much rather take my caffeine and then take a different lion's mane product along with it. But um, speaking of coffees though, I gave up on them until I came across this one product here called Fresh Cap Focus. This is the best mushroom, I think even productivity coffee that I've ever tried. It is very powerful stuff. They also have the mushroom coffee. I didn't like that one as much. That one was a little bit relaxing. But when it comes to productivity, whether you have like a, a four hour study session, maybe you're like me and you have to go on appointments and meet clients and do some independent work as well, then this is a really great nootropic. They've got organic lion's mane as the number one ingredient. They've also got organic rose hips, which should give you a nice calming effect. And the mushroom coffee, as I mentioned, it's relaxing and that's probably because they have lion's mane as well as ashwagandha. They have the most uh, popular extract called KSM 66, which I've discussed in this video, I will link here. Ashwagandha is great for feeling relaxed and when you combine that with lion's mane, you can definitely feel like present in a state of peace, love, joy, and calmness. Comment in the description box with your personal favorite form of lion's mane. Like I mentioned, the lion's mane eight to one mushroom extract by Nootropics Depot is by far my favorite. I'm not sponsored, but I absolutely love this stuff. And that's all that I have for you. Consider subscribing if you got value from this video and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.